Uh, actor Sally Phillips, you know, from Miranda, Smack Pony, many other programmes. Uh, she'll be hosting the Shine a Light Awards on the same day as International Down Syndrome Day. Now, these awards celebrating children's speech and communication development. Uh, to explain it better than we can, uh, here's a message that Sally made with her son Ollie. Now, these awards are very special because they celebrate all the children and young people like Ollie who have additional communication needs. And they also celebrate... Oh, and... and what? We... And we celebrate everyone who was amazing at school and yes. doing semi stuff. Yeah, we and celebrate all the children and young people who have to work so hard and have such determination to make themselves understood. And as you can see, Sally joins us in the studio. Lovely to see you, Sally. Hi Thank there. you for being here. Um, just Thanks explain the, uh, the, the, the Shine a Light Awards. Now, this is uh, dealing with um, young people who've shown persistence in dealing with something, I have to admit, I hadn't heard the acronym before, Speech, Language and Communication Need, yeah. SLCN. We do a lot of uh, abbreviations and special needs. <laughs> yeah, speech, language and communication needs. And it's also awards for the, uh, the SALTs, the speech and language therapists. And <clears throat> we have awards for uh, schools that have particularly put communication at the forefront of their agenda. Maybe um, putting more emphasis on drama or using more visual uh, communication or more technologies. The awards are sponsored by Pearson, who are a sort of digital learning group. And um, uh, because speech and language therapy has been cut so drastically, people are having to be more imaginative than ever before in how they deliver speech and language therapies. And um, I'm really genuinely, I know I have to say this, but I'm genuinely <laughs> very proud to be here. It's a great way to spend Down Syndrome Day, basically. Your beautiful boy is in that video Thank you. that we just um, played a clip of. You were telling me he's 14. What yeah. sort of challenges has he had to overcome? Enormous challenges, and a lot are, are speech and language related. I mean, this, you know, you divide into two sections. One is um, how society responds to people with disabilities, which is, in the main, not terribly good. I mean, nine Bullying out of ten is a people... Factor, isn't it? Yeah, nine out of ten people have never had somebody with a disability in their home, and they feel embarrassed and don't know how to talk to people with disabilities. Um, but there are genuine difficulties that come with the Down syndrome, and one of the things is... Uh, um, it is harder for people to communicate. So while he finds it very hard to order words, he has uh, sort of auditory processing issues. And I found it a real struggle to get speech and language, appropriate speech and language therapy for him. It did actually sort of bring me nearly to breakdown when he was about five, trying to argue that he needed speech and language therapy when they were saying he didn't and he could barely speak. I remember when he said uh, mummy for the first time, he was four, and I cried for ages. You're about to make me start right I know, now. and it makes oh. such a gigantic difference to it, have, for, for him to be able to speak and communicate and be understood, and it opens up the world to him. Yeah, so if um, so people profound. with uh, learning difficulties can, can read and write and communicate, they can have jobs, mm -hmm. they can live independently, they don't need the money from the state, you know, they can, have a, they can take part in society. So it's really something that we feel very passionately.